Excuse me, little dog. Hi, guys. It is a lovely Sunday afternoon. It is February 21st, 2021 here in the collapse of global industrial civilization down in this undisclosed swamp where springtime is busting out all over already planting tomato plants down here in Florida while the rest of the country is under ice and snow. So February 21st and an old man's thoughts of spring start to already thinking about you know being a snowbird my return to New York which is going to be sooner than I realize. I'm going to be out of here in about two months from today, probably, aiming to be back, you know, at Bugs in a Jar Farm outside of Ithaca, New York. And uh, so I am just putting out a call out there uh, in the Doomosphere for one, I, one, maybe two people who want to uh, come hang out at Bugs in a Jar Farm outside of, uh, I am 15 miles south of Ithaca, New York, if you guys really want to know, in the little village of Candor, C-A-N-D-O-R, New York, if you want to get a fix on where Bugs in a Jar Farm is, you know, I have my little 384 square foot cabin up on that beautiful 14 acres and uh, big all organic garden that I started to put in and planting fruit trees and blueberry bushes and making a hip camp uh, up there. So anyway, somehow I'm trying to get the energy for another summer at Bugs in a Jar and I am going to need some help. The old man is gonna need some help so, I 100% have room for one person and probably could find work for two people. So, here is what I'm offering. So, I am probably, the, the, the cabin itself is technically a one-bedroom cabin. The bedroom, I think, is six by eight feet. You know, it's got the living room, a full kitchen, and a full bathroom, you know, with flush toilet, hot showers, very good internet up there, actually have a big garage for a lot of storage. Uh, so, I am probably, like I did last year, I am probably actually going to choose to sleep in a little screen house uh, back on the property behind the house. So I am probably going to opt not to even sleep in the little bedroom of the cabin. So my guess is the little bedroom of the cabin itself is one option. I also have, you know, my camper, my uh, this very cool little 18 foot camper with a nice bed in it and uh, it's got its own little kitchen in it. Uh, I park, it's just going to be out in the driveway, uh, you know, right in front of the cabin where you have very good internet reception. So I'm going to have the bedroom in the cabin, I'm going to have that camper available or you're very welcome just to find a spot, you know, on the uh, 14 acres to uh, pitch a tent. There's, there's three really nice spots. Uh, three or, well, I'd say four really nice spots, or you're certainly welcome to carve out your own little niche anywhere on the acreage and just use the kitchen and the bathroom and the internet. Uh, now there is a possible, well, I'm, I'm going to be making a hip camp, so I need to put one little disclaimer by all of this, that the hip campers, you, you, you might be uprooted from your tent site every now and then or get booted out of the camper for a night or two if a, if a hip camper 
comes along. But other than that, there, 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 there's plenty of options uh, if you don't, you know, if you don't mind roughing it a little bit. Uh, it, it's a little rough. The cabin is a little rough, uh, but it has the important things. In, uh, but if you have any desire to uh, live rent-free and utility-free, you will be responsible for buying your own groceries. I will provide the rent, as it were, uh, all, I will pay all of the utilities, uh, you know, provide the internet and whatnot. So uh, what I am looking for in return is two hours of work five days a week. So 10 hours a week or 40 hours per month. Uh, just helping me around bugs in a jar farm. Uh, there's going to be just the everyday, you know, twiddling around in the garden. We have a, a this big 11 bed organic garden that needs to be tended. We need to get up there and, and I'm going to be there on May 1st. I want to start on May 1st we need to uh, till the garden, get it all planted up and ready. Now there's no fence around the garden. I'm sure there is going to be, uh, we're going to need to build a deer fence. Uh, there is no end of chores to do. Uh, it could be anything from gardening work, uh, weed whacking, you know, hacking out more of the jungle, keeping things, uh, you know, mowing, weeding, uh, gardening. I'm, I'm hoping that maybe this year I'm scaling down my vision of uh, my tiny houses. What I'm, what I'm hoping to build is a couple of little tiny houses, kind of like the one you see behind me, like these 10 foot by 10 foot screen tiny houses. I want to build a couple of those. Someone, uh, we, we, they, they, you know, we need to dig the foundation holes and uh, build these little 10 foot by 10 foot screen houses. They're, they're not going to have any, you know, I had all of these big plans for, you know, to build a cabin with power and plumbing and all of that crap. I'm talking about just some basic little uh, screened in wooden structures. Uh, anyway, what I am looking for is 10 hours per week. And uh, in exchange for you helping me out. And, 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 and guys, make no mistake about it, it's hard ass work up there. I, I'm, not, uh, you know, I, I'm not talking about plucking a couple of little dandelions. I'm, I'm talking about some ass kicking work. All right, uh, but I am looking for one or two people. There's very few rules. Unfortunately, I have to make the same rule that I did last year, that you have to have your own vehicle. I've been there, done that from both ends of the spectrum. Uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm is, what are we... I think like nine miles to the nearest little, you know, the nearest little convenience store. It's a 30 mile round trip, to, you know, to the grocery store or whatever. Uh, we're going to be making a million runs, I'm sure, into Home Depot and Lowe's and the sawmill and the nurseries and uh, getting landscaping and building stuff together. Uh, I, I am sorry, you have got to have your own wheels. That is rule number one. I am sorry, no exceptions. Anybody who knows me also knows no children. This is for grown-ups. This, this, now, would a couple, all right. I will, I, I'm mainly thinking of single uh, people, but I might entertain 
a, a couple, uh, and we will figure out how the hours would work out if you're, if you're a couple. It's going to be the, the housing situation is going to get real tight uh, with a couple, but I'm open to it if I can't find the right fit with a single person. Now, dogs, uh, I would prefer you not to have a dog. Uh, absolutely no pit bulls are going to be allowed. I need to meet the dog and approve the dog. You know, Sancho weighs 10 pounds, and I cannot have your dog, uh, you know, cause problems with Sancho. Uh, do be advised, I keep Sancho on one of these leads. Uh, the, the property is not fenced. It's on a road, it's on a, not a very busy road, but cars do come down the road. Good Lord, guys, there are coyotes. There's what I think are very well could be wolves. There are bears. Uh, there are porcupines. Uh, there are bobcats. There are mountain lions. Uh, there are a whole lot of things around that farm to kill uh, or eat your dog. Uh, I would prefer you not have a dog, but uh, we will talk about dogs. Um, tools, anybody with tools, uh, certainly uh, welcome to uh, apply. Uh, but anyway, beyond that, if anything I've said here if you want to get a taste of, uh, if you're down here in the Doomosphere, you have probably wondered how would it feel, you know, to get a little cabin uh, up on a few acres, uh, you know, and have a big organic garden and some fruit trees, all that. If you want to get a taste of what that feels like, this could be a golden opportunity. Now, of course, you will be living with me. That will be the biggest challenge uh, uh, of your summer is putting up with me. I am not an easy person to live with. I know that shocks you. That uh, how could this nice guy ever be a uh, <laughs> ever be a problem to live with? Uh, oh yes, I, I do eat meat. Uh, there will be a lot of meat being uh, eaten at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I don't care if you're a vegan. Um, but just understand that I am not a vegan. Tobacco smoke, there is no tobacco smoke allowed in my house. No tobacco smoke allowed in my camper. There is no tobacco allowed within a 100-foot radius of my house. Uh, I will not say that tobacco smokers are automatically going to be disqualified, but if you are a tobacco smoker, you will not be able to live in the house or the camper, you will uh, live in your own tent or you will help me build one of these little uh, 10 foot by 10 foot tiny houses and you can live in one of those. Uh, with those disclaimers and those house rules, anybody listening to this uh, wanting more information, simply get in touch with me, uh, send me an email to Collapse Chronicles, that's one word, Collapse Chronicles at gmail.com. Collapse Chronicles at gmail.com and let's talk because May 1st is going to be here before we know it. I want to know by April 1st at the latest. I would like to know before April 1st 
you know, to start planning my summer. So if you want to be part of Bugs in a Jar Farm, the unintentional eco community of Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, write me at collapsechronicles at gmail.com. Uh, send me a telephone number and we need to talk and we need to talk soon and uh, we will take it from there. We will see if this is the start of something big. Bye guys. And of course you get to uh, live with Sancho Panza. You get to have Sancho Panza in your life. That right there should be worth the two hours a day hard labor in the salt mines. Bye guys.